What up, you dingus? This is definitely not good. The podcast where we create stories, and they're definitely probably not good. I'm your host, CJ, and I'm joined by my producer, Nuckety. We have a very, very special guest here today. We have Tarquez, a.k.a. your favorite nickname. Welcome. Hello, Kofna. Oh, wow. That, that's, that's the voice you're... I, I, didn't, I didn't know you're, you're British. We're going with that one? I mean, I, I can. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is that in your way behind you? No, 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 no. We're, we're good. We're you good. can throw it on the floor. I am comfy. You just know, throw everything on the, the floor. You're the, the floor. Yeah, exactly. The you're the guest. No. <laughs> and by the way, I don't know what this is, but it's definitely not good. Definitely not good. <laughs> Listener, if this is your first time listening, this is pretty much how everything works. We are amazing storytellers. Amazing. And it's our job, our sacred duty to create a story completely from scratch with a little twist. We have a series of wheels we're going to spin, each of them random. And depending on where they land, we have to incorporate it somehow into our story. Can't promise it'll be good, but that's, you know, we're, we're in for it. We're in for whatever we got. Damn it. And today we have Tarquez. How you doing, Tarquez? Hey, what's going on? Am man? I saying your name right? Uh, you know, a lot of people don't, but yes, yes, I, I am actually saying it right. Yeah, absolutely are. And then um, any kind of mispronunciations of my name has become a nickname. So okay, Tarquez, aka your favorite nickname, is a real thing. And um, I go from Taco Turtle, Taco or Turtle. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of lot of Tarzan. What's your least favorite nickname? Taqua, Tarquisha. Mm, Tarquisha? Mm. Yeah. My my home my home is like, if you were a girl, you'd be Tarquisha. I was like, motherfucker. Yeah, you just beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> that or my middle name, which we won't we won't talk about. Okay. Because, but you know, it's all good. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know we like to start with a little warm up. Uh Nuckety, you why don't you go ahead and take it away? Okay. Hey, hey, hey Taki, how you doing, man? Hello, Governor. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Uh, uh could you do me a favor? Sure. To the best of your ability, mm -hmm. uh in your best Arnold Schwarzenegger. Can you uh, describe the plot to Pulp Fiction? Mm. Motherfucker. <laughs> that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a horrible... That's a strong start. That's, yeah, a, horrible, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a horrible Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, challenge. I mean, it's definitely not good. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, tell us more. <laughs> tell us more, Arnold. So what's, what's Pulp Fiction about? I was, I was just thinking about Sam Jackson and his motherfuckers. Honestly, I... Brain dead on Pulp Fiction. Sam J Jackson is—is is this Arnold talking? Is this your Arnold impression, bro? If he was high, yeah. Okay, <laughs> this is high on him. <laughs> he just gives a perfect American accent. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that, uh, Arnold <laughs> impersonation. You know, my brain should get to the chopper. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. That, that, well, that, that helps. That helps. I don't know if there's a chopper in Pulp Fiction, but no, no, no. no, um, no. Yeah. Uh, nope, just a bunch of boring-ass conversations. You know, uh, there's another Kill Bill coming out. So. There is? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I think it's the third one. Yeah. I do like Kill Bill. This guy's a day in it. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Well, uh, we don't have a sponsor today. Surprise, surprise. But we do have a wheel to spin to choose a sponsor. So why don't we spin that wheel? Okay. Spin! <laughs> Today's episode is brought to you by Cardamom. Cardamom? I thought it was. Oh, this episode is proudly sponsored by Cardamom. Um, hey, so fun fact, I have not absolutely no idea what cardamom is. I know it's a spice. <laughs> but if you had to tell me, like, what the spice was or what it tastes like, I would absolutely believe you because I have no idea. Oh, it's, uh, do you know, Takwe? It tastes like Newport's and Depression. Oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> Are we sure about that? I yeah, it's, right. it's, it's a black spice. So I'll just, I'll just <laughs> I think it's more of a, a floral kind of a kind of like a, like if a if a cin if a flower was made of cinnamon. Yeah, that's that's a mm, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Do you think that it's like probably an essential ingredient in curries? I think it might be. I don't really know how to make curry. Neither do I. I mean, I just follow whatever the box tells me to, yeah. and then I'll do it. Mine comes in a bag. A bag of curry. Mm -hmm. Yum. <sighs> um, you know, mine's coming with Steph's. Steph's? Yeah. What's Steph's? Steph's curry. 
Oh, please, man. <laughs> oh, man, you're on that joke roll. I walked well, right into well, that. Well, you know, uh, Turquoise, you know, you made me look like a fool. <laughs> well, you know, that's another one of my nicknames is uh, Miss, Mr. T. <laughs> I pity the fool. Turquoise, I know uh, you had an altercation with a man named Cardamon one time. Um, he tried to assassinate you. Can you tell us more about that? So, true story. Yeah. I'm at the Tacoma Dome getting donuts and coffee from my barber because it's 10 o'clock in the morning. As you do. <clears throat> This guy pulls up on me because I'm wearing a red shirt and he's yelling at me, take that red shirt off because blah, 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 blah. I'm like, what is he yelling at? He comes out, he approaches my, my door, and before he can assassinate me, a cop rolls by. Mm-hmm. And the guy crip walks back to his car. I'm like, wow. Are you serious? I'm so angry because he's crip walking to Katy Perry. <laughs> back to his car. Wow. Yeah. How I'm did sure. you catch his name with Carterman, though? Like, what is that? <sighs> You know, C's all day. He's a grip. <laughs> no. Oh, like he had the C on his yeah. on his shirt and it stood for Cardamon. Mm-hmm. Okay, That's I guess I that am. checks out. Interesting. It does. True story. Wow, Cardamon. I I feel like we didn't do you justice, but we want to appreciate you. So thank you for <laughs> sponsoring us today. Wow. Thanks for sponsoring what us. What a Cardamon. delicious spice you are. Yum, thank yum, you. Yum. Um, Tarquas, earlier off the mic, you were saying Thanos is your favorite. Like person ever? Can you tell us more about your role model, or well, it's inevitable. (laughs) (laughs) No, but um, as far as like the Marvel characters go, Thanos is yeah, he's one of the top tier characters. Mm. I myself never read any of the comics. I I have some I I do need to catch up on. But um, watching all the movies and seeing him show up, and it's like, what is the big deal about him? And I I don't know until Infinity War comes, and I'm just like, he didn't have to. Um, sorry for the interruption, folks. Uh, we, uh, we experienced some technical difficulties in the middle of the ad read, and, uh, all I can do is apologize. I, I, I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, I, I hope this doesn't, uh, taint our relationship in any way, and, um, if you could find it in your heart to just forgive us for this, uh, debacle and, uh, and uh, if Carnarvon would uh, please just forgive the misstep, uh, we got halfway through the read, but uh, I'm sorry the rest of it got uh, cut off. So um, uh, yeah, let's. Uh, uh, well, uh, also the first spin got cut off. Uh, the 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 genre that also didn't make it. Um, sorry about that too. Um, look, we're, we're doing our best. Okay, okay. I don't. I don't just. Just look here. I'm going to bring it back. All right. And uh, it's going to start at the second spin. And uh, that's that's all I can do for you. All right. And uh, I love you. So. Montana. We're taking place in Montana. Montana. Bro, you guys are fucked. <laughs> I got the story for Montana, too. But you do? Yes. Oh, it's very short story, but let, let's let's hear it. I, I'd rather just save it for you. Want to save it for save the you incorporate it okay. in there? Okay, yeah, yeah, Galaxy yeah. Battle in Montana <laughs> sounds about correct. Bro. Our next wheel is our character job. Character job. Let's the job of the character. <laughs> They're a mechanic. Yes, yeah, sounds about right. Because they work on their ships or their ships or their trucks the or trucks. their truck ships, truck ships or the ships ships. Shuttle. What's the next wheel? Our next wheel is our character flaw. Flow. Something's wrong with this mechanic. What's wrong with this mechanic? Let's find out. Mm, <laughs> Would you call that a character flaw? <laughs> it could. I mean, it depends who you ask. Oh, this is my favorite. Uh, they keep accidentally biting their lip. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. You, you mean like uh, Belle from Twilight accidentally biting her lip? <laughs> no, Bruh. no, no. Like they're talking and then, ah, fuck. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> well, that'll happen. Mm-hmm. Our next, ow, oh, dang, I just bit my lip. <laughs> fuck. Wow. What is wrong with my neurons in my brain? <laughs> I don't know, guys. Our next wheel, or second to last wheel, it's our antagonist. Antagonist. Yeah. Who's the bad person of the story? Let's spin it. I don't know. Let's find out. Spinning, 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 spinning. Two guys. 
<laughs> Bro, that's hilarious. Just two guys. Somehow that's just already funny. I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so to recap, we have a galaxy battle in Montana. Um, our main character is a mechanic who keeps biting their lip. Uh-huh. And the, <laughs> the antagonist is two guys. Two hey, guys. Hey, Tarquez, would you mind playing our mechanic today? Sure. Why not? What's a good more? What's a good like mechanic name for your for yourself? What are you thinking? Um, Taki. Taki. Yeah. All right. Taki the mechanic. Taki the mechanic. So, um, do we have any thoughts about our spins or any immediate ideas where we could take this? Immediate ideas? It starts off long, long time ago. Oh, mm, that's a good start. Two thousand four. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> Ancient. There was a mechanic named Taki coming straight from West Philadelphia, where he's born and raised. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. His hyperdrive failed in the middle of traveling, and now he finds himself stuck in Montana. The AI is speaking. Hello, Taki, where, where are we? What's going on? Uh, GPS says we're in Butt, Montana. Oh, Butt, Montana. I hate it here. I think it's Butte. <laughs> Actually... <laughs> Actually, it's kind of nice. It's not that bad. It looks nice, but oh, I want to go back to space. Yeah, it's nice in butt. You know, I really don't care about this butt, Montana. It stinks. Ow, I bit my lip. (laughs) Oh, yeah, you've been doing that. Have you been taking your pills for that? I think it's kind of like it happens whenever I talk shit about things I don't like. I bite my lip. It's kind of like an instant karma. Mm -hmm -hmm. Would you like to know of any... Airbnbs? Wait, we're in 2004. It's the wrong era. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, do you want to know about gas stations or phone booths? Because we're in 2004. As long as Colin Farrell's there, I'll be in the phone booth. <laughs> Colin Farrell's down in Montana. Sorry about that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, he's in Ireland? Ireland. He's, 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 Scotland. he's fucking somewhere. I don't know where, but not here. Now you gotta make me look up what year. <laughs> Phone booth. I don't know, man. I think, oh, well. Oh, two, man. Oh, two. Um, so, so can you, can you tell us, like, are, are they, like, on the road right now, like, with the spaceship, or are they flying? Well, the hyperdrive messed up, so this is why we're landing in Montana. Okay. Yes. And I'm So the this mechanic. is a mistake. Yes. Being in butt is a mistake. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so, sun, so as they're having this conversation, suddenly um, a truck pulls up. It's a very dirty, Ba-na-na-na. ancient truck from 2002. <laughs> um, and it's two guys... Um, Nuckety, would you mind playing one of the guys? Yeah, sure. I'll play one of the guys. All right. And I'm going to play guy number A. <laughs> Go- I'll be guy number one. You'll be guy number A. Yeah. Who comes first? The chicken. Uh, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. cool. And, and uh, they're coming in the butt of Montana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. cool. They, Montana. they close the truck door. Hey, what's going on? What's going on here? That's some nice gear you got there. That's a nice little truck you got there. What you doing Wowzers. all the way over here? What's all them lights and doohickeys doing, huh? What you doing, man? Why are you not talking to us? You don't want to talk to you us? You should say something, boy. Open your <clears throat> mouth. You know, I'd rather not do this right now. I'm stuck in the butt of Montana, and I don't want to stay here any longer than I need to be. Well, we don't want you here either. Matter of fact, we got... Takes a shotgun out. Got two bullets with your name on it if you stay a little longer than you need to. Well, yeah, run the jewels, son. As long as you spell my name right and don't mispronounce it, you'll be fine, okay? Well, what's your name? My name is Tark... Taki. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, why'd you stop why, before you said because your name? I don't, ow! Uh, you know, I bit my lip again. That happens when I lie and when I talk about things I don't like. So. Hey, hey, got number B. Got number one. He bit his lip while he was talking. <laughs> you know what that means, guy number eight. Oh, I sure do. That means we can make fun of him for something that he does that we do not do. <laughs> <laughs> you bite your lips. <laughs> well, you see, when you're a, a country person and such, I don't think you have enough teeth to bite your lip. Oh, oh that's mean. Uh, I keep biting my lip when I do mean things. I don't, I don't <laughs> like what he just said. No, me neither. That was very rude. Is he implying that we do not have teeth? <laughs> what a rude city slicking asshole. I mean, he might be a little bit right but that doesn't need need to, he needs to bring it up maybe we person. should take him up to crack and show him what for oh i like that idea <laughs> you know i'm just gonna steer you guys um car parts and go back to where i came from because this is wowing right now he pulls a shotgun a you, second shotgun he has two two of them he's holding both of them oh. you 
Oh. Ain't going nowhere. No idea how we cocked that one. <laughs> he, um, he John the, with the, oh, we're not that time. Okay. The AI pops up. Whoa, hey, what's going on? Do you need me to in, do you need me to put it in self defense mode, Taki? Kill mode. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Kill mode, you got it. <laughs> um no wait, 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 wait. Take the shotguns away from him and then kill mode, because I don't want you accidentally shooting me, you dumb robot. Ow! Are you sure you want to do that? So the con- conversation continues, and the two guys are like, wait, are they talking about killing us right now? They're talking about killing us. They're like right in in front of us. They're saying they're going to do a, is that some kind of alien technology robot? Like a fancy newfangled alien technology? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Illegal aliens. That's He's, illegal. You know what? These goddamn illegals. You know what? Don't kill them. Just distract them while I work on the cars. And take the parts for our hyperdrive. You got it, boss. Um, so the disco ball pulls up. <laughs> boom, boom. And it just kind of spins around. Whoa, look at this. Wow. Whoa, what's Whoa. What is, Wow. Look at all them colors. All right, that's pretty cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. I like that. Uh, yeah. I'm going to put that shock, these shotguns down real quick. Yeah, we're going to put those down. I can stare at this all day. Yeah. Wait, is that a drink dispenser right there? Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. Purple that. drink. How nice is that? Is that cool, lady? Cool, wow. lady. Yes. All right. All right. Where the solo cups at, man? Uh, I feel like dancing, though. I don't know what's going on. Dancing. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Now, yeah, boy. here's the part where my mechanicisms don't work well. I take the shotgun and I try to use it as a socket wrench. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> I don't think it's going to work. So but it kind of works because I'm from Billy and I make <laughs> things work. So uh, you're, you're using your shotgun as a socket wrench. And as you're doing this, your finger accidentally uh, pushes the trigger and it shoots. Everyone notices. Whoa, what, what is that? that? Tarnation. He took our shotgun. He took the shotgun. Hey, we, what, what are you trying to do, man? I am trying to be the very best. The very best that no one ever was. You want to try that again, boss? I think you might be malfunctioning with your neurons in your brain again. Did you bite you? Are you taking your medication? You're bleeding a lot. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. No more, no more messing around. Give me all your stuff. I need this to fly home and and get to where I'm going. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, sure, boss, sure. Let me just uh. <clears throat> Me and my friend here, we're just gonna go to our truck real quick to give you all our stuff. Run for it! Oh, we all <laughs> run out of here! You know, oh, uh, get them, get them, clap uh, We can't go anywhere, boss. We can't. <clears throat> Wait, now I'm sounding southern. I don't, <clears throat> let me just do it a little cl- cash clear. Hold on. <clears throat> wow, I thought you were almost reprogrammed by them, you stupid. Bo- Ow, bit my tongue. Been here too long. All right, uh, yeah, so I can't chase them, boss, because, uh, we're, we're, you know, I've used up a lot of battery around 10%, so sorry about that. Wait, I had to charge my phone. Let me just, no. <laughs> Uh, they get to the truck and they're gone. They're they're just they're zooming. They're they're out of here. It's a rocket truck, by the way. They're, they're, it has wheels, but when they when they move, it it lifts. And that is a scream, America. <laughs> We're in the future. <laughs> well, what do you want to do now, boss? I only got ten percent battery, and then you're gonna be okay, okay. stuck out here Let, for good. Even let's just use your battery, and then we'll we'll go to the next stop. Hopefully, the next stop is somewhere. Oh, far from away from this butt. You want you want to go to Ow. one of these uh these gas stations? Maybe they got a charger. Uh, yeah, let's do a gas station first. Get the charger. All right, buckle up. Oh, you're gonna get gas from butt. <laughs> butt Montana, here we come. <laughs> um, so it just it lifts, levitates off the ground, just barely sputters along. Um, meanwhile, we're gonna cut to um a short little gathering of these two guys. I guess we we need names for these two guys. My guy's name is Tommy. Tommy? Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Clevis. Tommy and Clevis. What's going on, everybody? It's Tommy and Clevis. Uh, we Clevis know, and Tommy. We're, we're, we're talking here in the middle of this bar. Sorry to interrupt the game. We're going to lose it anyways, probably. Everyone's like, yeah, 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 yeah okay. But don't never win nothing. Listen, we got an illegal alien who illegal. Is, <laughs> is, is polluting our area. He's driving up taxes, okay? And he's making things worse. Uh, Cletus, my throat is getting dry, so please take it from take it from here. Yeah, we we're gonna need y'all's help to uh to uh wrangle up this illegal alien. Alien. Now, if y'all don't mind, I'm gonna <clears throat> I'm gonna quickly take a sip of this here drink right here. One moment. Go, 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 go. <sighs> that stays in. 
Hey, yeah, that that. <clears throat> sorry, that's the wrong voice. Yeah, that now now I feel a lot better after that drink. Thank you for that, Bob. Bob goes. Mm. <laughs> um, also, and we and we got someone else too. We got a bounty hunter. Uh, his name is uh, T Top. No, no, don't mispronounce my name, you fool. Oh, oh sorry, oh, sorry about it. It's Cat. It's Cat the Bounty Hunter. God. Cat the Bounty Hunter, that's right. <laughs> T-Top. How do you mispronounce Cat? I, I don't know, man. I was I was tripping. Hey, T-Top, you want to say something? <laughs> I need an MP3 player for my hyperdrive. Wait, that sounds like some... Hold on. Cletus, that sounds like some illegal alien talk. That does sound like illegal alien need. I need it because my frostbite... Excuse me. My lime wire is not working anymore, so... Because it's 2004. Lime wire? <laughs> Isn't that, isn't that that illegal alien stuff that they, they've been talking oh, about across the border? It sounds illegal to me. Yeah, we, we got your lime ride right here. Oh, we don't have our shotguns. Exactly. Oh, it's a socket wrench. Oh, now. snap. <laughs> Wait, that- I'll tighten you up with this shotgun because it's a socket wrench. Uh, Bob is, uh, is, you know, he's uh, he's the bartender, dude. And he's like, uh, do y'all want me to call the police or something? Bob, I need a Henny and Coke. Before I get my hands dirty, uh, whatever <laughs> makes you a coke. Uh, now, why is no one listening to us? This is the illegal alien, guys. We gotta, we gotta get rid of him. I, I don't know, man. This seems <laughs> this is a normal guy. I don't know. It seems like he's okay to me. Yeah, he's kind of just minding his own business. Yeah, uh, he just has a socket wrench. You know, he's, you guys kind of seem like you're making things worse for all of us by coming in here ruining the game. Yeah, we were just in here watching this game. Yeah, don't make me get ratchet and clink in here, please. Uh, look, I don't understand that reference, but this guy here, he says his cat his name is Cat, but he's the legal, okay? All right, I'm going to a different bar. Come on, Cletus. Hey, it's Cletus, right? Cletus, yeah. Cletus, oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. You know, I'm just saying, man. Come on, let's go. So they get out of the bar. Um, Taki gets his drink, and, and Bob's talking to him. So you know those guys? Yeah, I once got into a fight with them, and uh, my mom got scared. Oh. Well, uh, what, what brings you in these part of town? I can tell you're definitely not from here. My MP3 player died with my hyperdrive. Therefore, I'm in butt. The stinky butt. Ow! <laughs> Bit my lip again. I can't stop doing that. But. <laughs> it's okay, man. I do that sometimes, too. Between that Every once in a while. And, and, and my lime wires, they're all crossed. I need it. I need to fix it. And I'm the mechanic who turns shotguns into soccer ranches. So I'm kind of useless. This is specialty. Yes, it is my specialty. Hey, man. Well, why don't you take a, take a chill pill? You know, you're, you're welcome to hang around here for a little bit, get some drinks. I like the red pill, not the blue pill. Not sure what you mean by that. Is that a, is that a matrix reference? Chill is blue. I'm just going to give you some water and walk away. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Um, so, meanwhile, um, Tommy and Cletus are on the road and they're arguing. You know, it's kind of later in the night now. Damn it, Cle- Clevis. Why is no one listening to us? This guy is a big problem. Tommy, I don't know. How would I know? I don't know. You're supposed to be the brains. I'm just the talky guy. Or I'm, I thought the, I'm you the, were the brains and I was the talky guy. You're not talking at all, man. I'm the talky guy and the brains at this point. Oh, 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 oh. So, oh, so you're you're just gonna you're just gonna be mean? Then. I'm, I'm not. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean. Listen, no, you look, hurt my feelings. I'm, okay, c- come on, man. Come on. I didn't like it. I'm gonna I'm pull over here real quick. Come on, man. You're, you're, you're my you're my best bud. All right, you're my I best bud. I didn't mean that. I thought I we was cool, man. We, we are cool. You know, we just we, we're trying to. I want to be unified in our hatred for illegal aliens. That's yeah. it. Yeah, you know? you're, you're right. We don't because I can't hate them myself. I gotta I, hate them with my best bud. You know, hate is a very strong emotion, and it, and it helps if there's multiple people hating the same thing. Absolutely, buddy. So you're right. I'm sorry. Suddenly, they kiss. <laughs> Before they kiss, suddenly a freaking light just beams on them, and it's just it's so bright they can't see. Uh, it, and it's just this alien sound. This like hovercraft is right above them. What in tarnation's going on? Oh, I gotta hold on to my butt, my pants, my pants are falling off. Ah. Tell me what your pants are falling. Whoa, there go my pants. And they both get abducted by this alien craft. Um, <laughs> it's only pulling their pants are upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so we cut to them inside of like a jail cell on the ship. Hello, Earthling. 
I am light bulb, the enlightened ones. <laughs> Okay. Uh, are you an alien? You're an illegal alien. That's aren't a really you? interesting name you got there, light bulb. Yes. I looked around the room one time on your planet. I picked the closest thing I could find. I see. Can I pull my pants up now? No. Oh, okay, no. okay. So uh, we're looking for a fugitive named Taki. He is a mechanic and he uh, has a keystone that belongs to our people. Um, the alien people, which I you know, can't tell you what they what race they are, because I'll, I'll you know I'll have to kill you. Alien? Uh, yes, Is yes. Is that a legal guy? We're we're okay. we're legal aliens. Oh, you can fathom that. I guess I I never really did ask him for his papers or anything. You know you know you see those. <laughs> but anyway, we're looking for Taki. He has a he's a mechanic. He stole um a keystone, which is a which is a very important part of an AI. Um, which belonged to us, and then he took it for himself, and he changed the voice modular on it for some reason. It's very He's a wacky guy, and he bites his lip. Any, sound familiar? Yeah, no, we, we met him back and down there, down there, in in the middle of butt. Close, cl- closer to the top, though, any, near, near crack. Any chance you can be more specific? <laughs> yeah, right right over there, by, by crack, you know. Scratches his flesh. It's going to be harder than I thought. Here is a beacon button. Uh I'll make it simple for layman. I don't know who layman is, but you, you stupid humans, just listen. Push the button when you see him, and we will come. Oh, that sounds simple enough. I, I think I can handle that. This is a matter of uh, cosmic life and death. Okay, bye. Okay, push, okay. push the button, and then you guys get teleported back to the the um, the truck. <laughs> Holy cannoli! I I didn't even say anything. I was so awestruck. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, yeah, you were, you were uncharacteristically quiet. I was quiet at uncharacteristically that time. quiet on that whole thing, man. That was where we. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm just so off. You're shaking. shaking. I'm just so. <laughs> I'm shaking, man. I'm shaking in my boots. Look at your hands. You're shaking. Wow. Look here. Give me your hands. <laughs> he holds his hands. They kiss again. <laughs> All right. What is? You're what, okay. You're okay. Cut, cut You're away. with me. We're gonna cut away. What is? What is Taki doing? Sweet, I finally got this raggedy spaceship fixed. Oh, ow, bit my tongue. It's okay, boss. Sometimes biting your, your lip and your tongue is normal, you, and it's okay. You know, I really wish I would change your voice module to Arnold Schwarzenegger, trying to quote Pulp oh, Fiction right now. But. Oh, I wouldn't. Do, I don't know about that. that. That might be really hard on my processors to, to do any other voice but this one. Okay, bot, let's go. We had to go back to where we were growing. Oh, wait. What about the guy that we met earlier? I feel like I was an asshole to him. Let me go apologize. Oh, I don't, I don't know about that, boss. That might be that might not be a good idea. Well, you know, not to get cheeky, but I think I've turned turned to cheek on this one. The other? The other cheek, yes. Are, are, you, but, say, are you saying you want to be a mechanic in this in this relationship with this that you had between these two? Yes. I want to give him oral changes and Oh, that's that's kind of weird, but all right. <laughs> All right, I'll I'll start tracking him. We're gonna take a short break, guys. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Cut. Hey, do you like t-shirts? Maybe hats? Well, I got good news for you. The merch store is open. <laughs> Come check us out at linktree.com slash dngpod. Click the merch link and get yourself a definitely not good shirt or a definitely not good hat. And for a limited time, grab yourself a I Am The Water Goblin t-shirt. This is in limited stock and won't be there forever. Thank you for supporting us. And now let's get back to some definitely not good. Hey, fellas, we're back. Hi. And we have another sponsor. Yeah. Let's spin the wheel. Today's episode is brought to you by Microwaves. This episode is proudly sponsored by Teeny Tiny Waves. Microwaves. Um, Teeny Teeny Little Waves. Turquoise, how do you feel about microwaves? I love microwaves because they're like, you don't want to be an asshole, but you still got to say hi. So you just got to microwave. Oh, (laughs) yeah. Those little like, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'll do that sometimes and people won't wave back and it makes me very, very, very mad. <laughs> you know, 
There's a button to make him wave back. It's like the 30 second plus the cook button. Mm. Everyone waves back. Mm. That's yeah. 30 seconds mandatory. Yeah, at least 30 seconds. <laughs> the full 30 <laughs> seconds of waving. You guys, I feel really stupid right now because I thought we were talking about the thing you used to cook popcorn. And <laughs> oh, I'm so lost. Wait, what, what are what's what are those called? Microwaves? Really? Yeah, they have little microwaves that uh, the cook, cook your food. They cook popcorn and yeah, stuff? Yeah. Wow. I think we got the technology from the Greys <laughs> in uh, Roswell. You know? Oh, wow. Wait, so like microwaves are like alien technology? Is yeah, that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Hey, when was the last time you used a microwave, Nuckety? Oh, uh, that'd be this morning. What'd you, what'd you put in it? Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. So. Alien ships look like flying saucers. Flying saucers look like plates. Plates go in the microwave. That's right. Wow. Yeah. I think you just solved it. That's, I, that's I did. It. I like that. I don't know what you work. solved, but <laughs> you solved it. The Da Vinci Code of microwaves. You did it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, 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 so I'm a little weird about mm. uh, water. Mm. So I got these water bottles and uh, we, we had them in the fridge and I don't like cold water, so I put a cold, a cold water in the microwave for 30 seconds so it's not cold no more. I think that's fine. Yeah, everybody that's thinks fine. I'm crazy. I don't think that's crazy. I, I feel like, like if you have like a teeth uh, sensitivity, that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Although yeah. they say cold water is not good for you. Yeah, that's what I hear too, but I think that might be warm water propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah, cold big, water, big is, warm water is all over there, right? I think cold water's just fine, guys. Yeah, I think Luke likes to spread those kind of Luke. Yeah. Oh God, Luke fucking warm. Luke. Yeah, Luke fucking. Don't warm. get me started on Luke. Yeah, I mean Luke warm just he he really does it well. Do you put um, cup of noodles in the microwave? Nah. Apparently, you're not supposed to. Nah, nah. But nah. I've been doing that for twenty five years. <laughs> Is that why you've been biting your lip? <laughs> since you're younger started biting your lip yeah yeah probably uh -huh. well hey thank you microwaves thank you microwaves you're so you're so wavy microwaves Some good waves good vibes like the jingle um so uh Tarquez um hey that's you that is me yeah I, I feel like I wanted to ask you a question go for it shoot um shoot with I, think, shotgun, I, shotgun. I think I just did I think that was it <laughs> I think that was I wanted to, that was <laughs> What is the question, damn it? CJ, Nuckity, what is the question I was going to ask? It all started long, long time ago. <laughs> well, okay, all right. Here's a legitimate question. We're, we're taking place in 2004. What was Tarquez doing in 2004? He was hanging out with us, man. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Um, well, it, you know, it kind of starts off kind of like the Fresh Prince, which is why I do the Lord of Friends here and there. Okay. When right. I tell people I'm from West Philly, everyone goes, born and raised, and does the whole song. Right, right. right. Whole, never gets old. The never, whole five-minute song. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, legit, my mom was like, you know, me and her have a great relationship where it was just me and her. And she's like, we're going to go somewhere where there's not many kids or whatever. You know, let's pack up the car and let's go. Mm -hmm. I heard PS2 and I load the car up. <laughs> so, you know, we're driving, driving, driving. And then I came here to Washington with my aunt, who's not with us anymore, and my cousin. Mm -hmm. And um, brand new school, Mount Tahoma. And uh, I liked it. I even want to say it looks like a prison, but... T-Birds. <laughs> T-Birds. <laughs> and that's where you met me. Yeah, yeah. And I met Nuck and I met CJ and a bunch of other people and great, great people. What's um? What's one thing that you miss from that era, 2004? And one thing that you're like, thank goodness I'm not doing that anymore in that era or having to deal with that? Uh, hit clips. <laughs> I wasn't really uh, savvy with a lot of different things. I mean, I, I was, but like, I'm not my own business. So, like, I miss Nuck wearing his famous uh, hubcap chain. Oh, we're, we're going to talk about this? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I mention it every time I talk to him because I, I love this guy. He's He's been great. But um, that's one of the things, just the kind of, you know, vibes. And then, thank God it's over. I would have to say the drive through Montana, but... We don't talk about Bruno, so. <laughs> <laughs> Driving through Butt Montana. Yes. Yeah, he was mentioning earlier in case you you definitely didn't hear. <laughs> a lot of what's happening in this story so far is based on true events. True so, events. Can you tell us more about this drive through Montana? So my mom printed out MapQuest directions, and they told us to head south in Montana, and we lost about a half a day of driving. And um, we realized that we were going the wrong way, so we went another half a day 
north and then we started heading west. And then when we stopped, my mom's like, okay, we got to stay here for the night. And I look at the sign and I was like, Mom, I don't want to stay in the butt of Montana. What is this? She's like, no, it's beautiful. I said, look, you raised me right. That says butt. <laughs> There's two T's. You raised me right. He, that's that's butt. And she's like, it's beautiful. And, you know, since 2004, um, I've been looking at the map and exploring different parts of the U.S. There's actually a place called Black Butte uh, south of us between Oregon and Cali. I was making my trip to Cali. We, we call them booty. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I was like, I want to stay there now. You know? but, but yeah, that's, that's what happened in Montana. My quest really, really does. Is, God is here. 3000 plus miles. Rest in peace. <laughs> Rest in peace. Rest in, <laughs> shout out map quest. Shout out map quest. Yahoo. <laughs> and then long wire. Oh man. Uh, I would say I like it. Love it. Also hated some of it, but shout out Napster. Where we last left off, Taki was stranded in Butt, Montana, um, with his AI assistant. I don't think he had a name. <laughs> Leroy! Leroy, the AI assistant. Um, so, yeah. Am uh, I the meanest? <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let, me, let, me, let me back up a little bit. So, where we last left off, Taki is stranded in, in Butte, Montana, or Butt, Montana, who it depends who you talk to. Um, <laughs> and... <laughs> He was approached by two guys in a truck who are claiming he's an illegal alien. They might be right, but they started to antagonize him. Um, and now they're going around town telling people uh, that there's an illegal alien who is Taki, who's just trying to get back to maybe his home planet or West Philadelphia where he's born and raised. I don't know. Um, but either way, he has a spaceship and some illegal alien technology named Leroy. Leroy? Yeah. Leroy. Leroy. Me meanwhile, um, Reloy. Uh, Tommy and Cly Clevis? Clevis. Clevis got abducted by an um, uh, alien named Lightbulb who is trying to locate where Taki is because he stole Leroy the AI bot and is trying to get it back. Like the throw wrench in already broken story. So uh, <laughs> let's spin that topic wheel and Not see how we can make this worse. The skip bot? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, my phone's upside down. Oh. Topics. Topics. <laughs> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Oh, thank you. Let yeah, me no clear my throat. <laughs> uh, camping. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, we're in the right place. It's the middle of the night. Um, I kind of forgot where we left off, but I'm going to go ahead and say Leroy and Taki are camping out next to the freeway in Butt, Montana. By the way, uh, if you live in Butte, Montana, I just want to say, grow up. It's okay. It's fine to call it Butt Montana. I, I already know someone's listening and is like, you're calling it Butt Montana. And I lived in, grew up. Just, it's, it's fine. Yeah, guys. you're the one that lives it's, in butt, it's, dude. It's, it's, it's fine. It's the butt. People like butts. I like butts. So Mix a Lot loves them. So Mix a Lot loves them. So anyways, they're in Butt, Montana, and, uh, you know, they're looking up at the beautiful sky. Like in Montana, you can just really see the, there's like no light pollution. So you're really seeing the beautiful sky mm. and the lights. His butt, butt is beautiful. Yeah. By the way. And they're just, they're just taking a serene moment and all of a sudden uh, you hear, Hey boss, what you doing? <laughs> I was thinking about those two guys who I wanted to apologize to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know we've been in Butt, Montana, and we we're near crack, but for some reason, I have a strange feeling they might be closer towards the Brokeback. Oh, you mean Brokeback Mountain? It, yeah, of Montana, if the, uh, that's the thing. Censors indicate that that is a movie. You want to you wanna go into Brokeback Mountain? Just to apologize to them. You, you just want to visit Brokeback Mountain. You don't want to stay there and, no, no, and no, live no. there and, no. and have a life-changing experience or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, nothing like that, right? No, 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 no. no. I just want to, I just want to apologize because I've been, I've been mean to them. They were really nice. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put in this log that Taki is going to Brokeback Mountain. That he's not, he's not going back anywhere else. That's where we're. That's, that's our final destination. No, no, no! Don't you fuck. All right, God, here we go. Ow, ow, bit my lip. <laughs> It's in co-pilot mode, and uh, it's just it's on five percent now. But it's like, oh, wait, you said it fit, you fixed it up, right? Mm -hmm. So, all right, so this this vehicle just kind of like levitates and then just poof, takes off, and it goes to broke back. Meanwhile, um, guess who else is camping? Tommy and Clevis, mm. and you know they both have some coffee. Uh, I don't know why they drink coffee at night. It's not a really smart idea, but you know they're in their PJs. Um, 
Uh, Tommy kisses Cleavis on the forehead and says, "I love you. I love you too, Tommy." Man, you got a you got a nice nice badonka donk. Let me tell you, <laughs> best badonka donk I've ever done see here in in Montana. You spoil me with that fish you caught earlier. That was delicious. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Hey, what's that? They look off and they see a, a freaking spacecraft coming towards them. Oh, come on, man. Actual aliens now. I feel like we had a crazy ass. Okay, whatever. They're bro. blasting out the subs. Get, get the shotguns. Oh, my God. There's no pile of shotguns in the back of the pickup. <laughs> um, so the aircraft lands and uh, Tommy and Cleavis already have their shotguns trained on them. Taki, you come out of the aircraft. Uh, what do you say? Hey, kind of young Jesus. Hey. Sorry, I'm just listening to my music. <laughs> Turn that down, Leroy. You got it, boss. Going down two clicks. It just goes down just barely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys, I just came to apologize because, you know. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't catch that. Can you say it again? <sighs> this Ow, bit my lip. Okay. I wanted to apologize before not being me senseless. <laughs> Tommy's like, that's not a very good, that's I'm, not I'm, a very I'm, good I'm, opening. Let him cook. <laughs> let who cook you? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I don't understand that reference, sir. It's oh. 2004. I don't know what you're <laughs> we, we already cooked damn near two hours ago. Yeah, that guy's still in middle school right now. <laughs> what do you want? What do you want, alien? All right. I'm sorry. I'm a mechanic. I should fix these things. We're making them better. Well, worse. Works. God, my education's all over the place. Get, give me one moment there. Cleavis, is he apologizing I to feel us? Like he's trying to apologize, he's trying but to he's not doing a very good job. Right is, he, is, he, is he? Does he have like some kind of sympathy or something? I, mean, I think he feels bad. Um, you know, you know, bad. Like actually bad. So you're saying these illegal aliens do have, in fact, have emotions? They have feelings and emotions. First of all, let's just no more illegal alien here. Here's my green card. An actual green card. Yeah. Oh, you're here wow. for work. Yeah, yeah. So Holy. you're here to you're here to take our jobs. Take our jobs. Oh, sorry. I'll, I'll bit my. I don't mean hey, to imitate you. Hey, what what is up with the bite? The lip biting, man. Your your lip is is bleeding constantly, <sighs> man. Yeah, there's blood everywhere. You're, is that a red shirt or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> I don't know what that means, Cleavis, but I'll, I'm going to let him cook his compliment. What are you saying? What, what are you-, you know, I got, I once knew a space witch named Saman Baba. And, um, wow. Well, that's a real name. She was a total space witch with a B. And, um, yeah, I don't think there's a B in space witch, but <laughs> not a single one. I don't think so. <laughs> the B is silent, and now she I'm is. I'm the Montana oh. spelling B champion. I, I never thought I don't think there's a B in I don't all my letters, sir. <laughs> no, no, the, the B is silent, and now she is because, uh-huh. uh, she cast her last spell on me. And whenever I act like her, being mean or lie or anything like that, I bite my lip. Oh, so, oh, yes. So, so some uh, lover quarrels, it sounds like. A little psychological damage here, huh? Yes, yes, mm, yes. yes. Hmm, hmm, okay. Well, have you considered maybe like being a mechanic for your own self esteem and maybe your own psychology, your brain neurons and whatnot? We went to school. I mean, I actually, we, I did go to, to Harvard. You know that, right, Clevis? You know that. Yeah, yeah, that's where we met. Yeah, that's where we met. We were roommates. Met Harvard. Harvard. That's where I fell madly in love with you, Clevis, of course. <laughs> Anyways, that that makes that's sense. besides the point. I just think sometimes it's not really a space witch casting these spells, but more like insinuating and suggesting things that might uh, influence our own perception and our own neurological impulses within ourselves. That is an qu- inquisitive observation there, Tommy. I, I don't know. I'm, you know, I, just, I didn't graduate or anything, but I did go to Harvard. Wait, Wait, a three years in. Wait a minute. What are you doing? What is your, why are your hands in your pocket? What is that bleeping? Econ he got there. What is that? Oh, nothing. What? Mm. I think he might just be happy to see you. Oh. Yeah. No, yeah. no, I'm just happy to see you. Suddenly, uh, a freaking aircraft descends. <laughs> And it's like the, the pressure of the gravitation is just like making all the dirt kind of like 
It's like a helicopter guy. I don't know. I'm not using my freaking words. It's right like now. a helicopter. It's like a helicopter, guys. Oh no, I'm the only one who's not sagging my pants, so my pants are good. Um, <laughs> light bulb a p- t- comes down in a tractor. Uh, yeah, tar- that's not my Air Force Ones. <laughs> Very good work. You found the traitor, Taki. Light bulb. Hello, Taki. Oh, light bulb. Oh, light bulb. Here, let me let me tell you about these guys here. We just became friends, and I know. Bro, no, why don't you save it for trial? He like zaps you, and then your your wrist get like cuffed together by laser. <sighs> laser cuffs. He was right. He is an illegal. Uh, no, uh, where's my? I can't reverse Uno. Now you're cuffed, light bulb. Ha, bright idea, huh? Uh, I, Uno cards do not work. He just on threw me. an Uno card. <laughs> threw an Uno card. <laughs> Damn it! I'm not Gambit. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. This is like that popular song that everyone listens to. Lincoln Park. In the end, it doesn't even matter. Doesn't even matter. You, you get it? Because it's two folks. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I don't know, I'm more of a disturbed guy. <laughs> Very good, you two bumpkins. You did great job. Great job. Um, suddenly, you know what? That apology was fake. No, oh, I knew I bet my lip. <laughs> um. Suddenly, uh, what's his name? Tommy's like, Clevis, hold on, hold, hold the phone, hold the, hold the phone booth phone. <laughs> it's not even nine o'clock. Don't be wasting my minutes. Clevis, did you, did you alert, did you alert the authorities about, we, we were just having a heart to heart. We're trying to, we're trying to help him. He apologized to us. Well, they promised me a bunch of free swag. So, what was I supposed to do? Let that go? We did not promise you any swag. This was all voluntary. You know, I got something better than swag. And it comes from space far, far away. It is called a microwave. <gasps> don't, <laughs> don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Come on, buddy. Don't listen to him. He speaks lies. I think we already have I microwaves. Think, I think he's trying to offer you some cold water. I thought you were going to say fucking lightsaber or something. No, 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 no. This microwave, it has a drawer and you pull it out. And you can put anything in it, and it fries it. It doesn't just cook it. Yes. Talking about what now? Oh, I can fry stuff in my microwave? Yes, you can. That's every little Ow. boy's dream. Uh, I'm not going to lie. That sounds pretty, pretty neat. Pretty neat. Anyways, I'm going to take this fugitive. You all did well. Well, I never well want to wait, see wait, your... wait on it. Hold on. It's, wait, uh, <laughs> yes. Talking about uh, microwave and fry stuff. I, mm, I don't know. Maybe I might be switching sides a little bit. Here. Oh, you're switching sides, are you? Man, maybe I took this here shotgun and I aim it at your dome there. And then and I tell you, you can go on and fuck off, boy. No, Okay, go ahead and do that then. Unless you're going to give me a, a, a better offer or something. Oh, here's a better offer. He shoots you, and now you're laser cuffed. Oh, fuck! <laughs> hey, you leave my clevis alone, damn it! But uh, Tommy gets his shotgun, and he shoots light bulb, and he deflects it with, like, a like a solar shield. He's too powerful! Ah, uh, pathetic. We're, we're, we're taking Taki, whether you all like it or not. He's a fugitive. He stole precious technology. Wait, do I have any kind of say in this? I mean, I'm already in the butt of this state, and... It can't get worse! It can't get worse. <laughs> um, suddenly... Just kidding. You, suddenly, uh, your Taki spaceship kind of flies and, like, activates. It turns on, um, and you hear Leroy's voice. Wait, I got something to say! Is that the AI technology that you stole from us, Taki? Um... Don't answer that! Kiss my converse. Yeah, yes, it is. It is. I am the AI. <laughs> Damn it, Leroy, you dumb bo- Ow, bit my lip. <laughs> Listen, he just, okay, all right. The space, the space witch with the B, uh, you know, she, she put a bounty on Taki, all right? And, and me and him were buds. And, okay, all right, look at it this way. Me and, the, me and, we, you know, I was like their pet. And how do I explain it? Can someone explain it for me? Oh. Can someone explain it? <laughs> And I think you did a good job. That was pretty good. Uh, Leroy, you know, I apologize for being mean to you. You're actually pretty smart. Ow! I'm not lying this time. You're you're a great robot. Ow! Okay, look. You really logged it. I'm really logging that in, a compliment in my, my database oh. right there. It's very sweet. That's very sweet. <laughs> All right, give me one good reason I should let him go. He's been dodging us. We're in the middle of a galactic battle with the space witch named Shamba Babla. <laughs> You know, like, bub, guess how many people it takes to screw you? How many? Three in the AI. <laughs> um, so after he says that, he just kind of 
looks around. Was that something cool supposed to happen after you said that? Or I said three in AI. Uh, I. One, I. Two, three. Oh, okay. That's mine. All right, I got you. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> suddenly, like it's like three guns come out and they shoot the laser cuffs off. Um, uh, and then the, the third gun like shoots like. Oh, 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 that hurts. That smarts. All right, everybody, get in. We get, fucking did it. Get into my belly. Get into my belly right now. Is is this your belly? I don't know. Get in my belly and sit down. Are you a big fat bastard? Wait, before we leave, light bulb. What's the matter? I hate you. <laughs> I hate you, Taki. They fly off. You won't. You won't see the last of us. They're all flying in the clouds. You know, above the clouds. Now they're seeing the starry sky. They have. A trail. They have camouflage on their ship. Leroy's like, Oh, that was a close one, guys. <laughs> Ooh, I'm almost out of breath. Ooh, whoo. I don't actually I need to breathe, but I just wanted to, you know, make us comfortable. I wanted to make you guys comfortable. Like I'm part of the team. That was crazy. Let me put on some smooth jazz. <laughs> smooth jazz starts playing. Me, 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 you're a real son of a bitch to come back and apologize to us when you when real you do son of a bitch, you know. Yeah, we we appreciate you. Don't mention it. Eject those cito cuz. Wait, what? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Oh! Okay, at least you got parachutes. That's kind of nice, actually. Yeah, he didn't need to give us parachutes. He could have oh. just killed us. That would have been fine. Hold my hand, Clevis. Uh, hold, hold my I'm, hand. I'm already holding your hand. Okay, don't get too close. Though. Oh, you mean your other hand? No. Yeah, yeah hold both of them, damn both it. Hands, hold both hands. Two hands together. All right, all right. It's, it's that kind of nice, actually. He's kind, of a, he's kind of a son of a bitch for doing that. But I'm kicking my feet. <laughs> Cut back to um, Taki and Leroy. They're leaving the atmosphere and leaving Earth, and they're amongst the stars now. Oh boy, Montana, but Montana, that was that was quite an escapade, wasn't it? Uh, what what you want to do now? You know, it wasn't so bad. I heard that they actually have a place called Black Butt. Set course. You want to go back to Earth? I mean, if there's a Black Butt. <laughs> I think they call that a booty. Well, I like big booties, and I cannot lie. Big booty, Montana. Uh, initiate all thrusters. Let's go. Here we go. That's the end, guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we freaking did it at the end of this tale. Um, I want to thank my special guest, Taki. Tarquez. The real Taki. The real Taki. Tarquez. Thank you so yes. much for joining us. Well, thank you guys for having me here. It's been an honor. You know, um, for those who don't know, Tarquez is my name. T A R Q U. It doesn't matter. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> Taki is my uh, Arabic name. It means one who only fears God in Arabic. Oh. And, um, I picked that out when I was like nine. Nice. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good nickname. Yeah. Um, do you have anywhere online you want people not to like, I guess you want people to like go to like, should they check out like spacejam.com or Yahoo, MapQuest? Anything you want to shout out? Yeah. Um, on our little show, shout out to um, definitely not good. Oh, definitely uh, us. You want to yeah. shout us shout, out? Shout out to, yeah, shout out to you guys. Um, I'm not sure if they're doing it or not, but uh, Pork Chop and Pearls that's another podcast I was trying to support it like a couple of years ago, but that's with uh, one of my homegirls. And um, right on, other than that, no, I, I don't mean, I mean, I'm kind of online. You guys see me on Facebook, but other than that, I just keep to myself. Well, thank you so much for uh, sharing yourself with us here today and, and uh, being on this terrible podcast. Oh, it's not too terrible. My kind of you, man. <laughs> it's not terrible. It's, it's definitely not good. But. Hey, yeah, let's go. We'll go with that, man. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, like, Nucky, do you got anything huh? you want to say to the people? Uh, uh, you guys, you guys are, you guys are great, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, maybe if you... It, uh, I feel I'm embarrassed to say this. Uh, maybe if you need like studio time or something. Uh, oh my God, it's so embarrassing. It's so dude. embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed right now. Uh, you just, just you know, find me on like the internet uh, under N U Q A D Y, and uh, you know, maybe you send me a message if you want to get some studio time. Oh, he's being bashful, guys. <laughs> no, no, no. Cool, yeah. I've yes. definitely seen him. It's a good time. <laughs> this is, I just want to get everything right because I feel like Nuck, for as long as I've known him. The last 20 years, he's been really passionate about his music and stuff and everything. And 
I just don't want to come to him with no bullshit. So it's like, hey, you know, and I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. So we appreciate. You. Definitely working on something. Uh, it's sad to say, pre-COVID. Let's talk about that real quick. <laughs> yeah, um, <clears throat> it's a project I've been working on for myself, kind of like a, a journey where I'm just going over things and writing it down. And it's a multimedia project. It will be called The Gears of Life. Mm. And there's three gears. Each gear will be called a cog, C-O-G. And uh, the first cog will be Confessions of a Gentleman. And um, it'll be just me going over things I've been through throughout my life and basically just opening things up to where people... Oh, I didn't know that happened with Turquoise. Oh, I don't know. These are the things that happen and people maybe don't know. And the reason I call it confessions is because it kind of feels like I'm confessing something, even though there's nothing, you know. (laughs) But it really grabs me because... Everyone thinks a gentleman is going to be perfect, but it's like we're not perfect. But yeah, it's like you know. it's like you're being vulnerable to like <laughs> right, to like right, express right. like yeah, yeah. I get you. Yeah, but it's it's just funny because I've been working on this um, since pre-COVID, and uh, I got a lot of things written down. I just I just want to get it all together and like really work on it, and you know. But years of life, definitely working on it. And uh, I'm here when you need me, man. Yeah, yeah definitely. And, and do you think it'll probably drop sometime later this year? Sheesh. If I said I started pre-COVID and it's not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> just to be fair, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's just, it's, there's a lot of different things that's going 2077, on. 2077, you look out for that. Yeah, yeah, 2077. It's, it's, once Dr. Dre releases the chronic, or, you know, whatever. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, um, um, it, I don't know, man. It's the, the, the ambition behind it. It's so big. I actually want to incorporate you too, uh, CJ, because we've done videos and stuff in high school. Mm-hmm. And it's not just music. Like I want some things you can hear, but some things you have to see. Mm-hmm. And I, I definitely feel like seeing certain aspects of my life is different than what you would typically see, you know? Yeah. And it's funny because everyone's like, oh, you do music? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, you don't. I'm like, what do you mean? No, I don't. <laughs> the typical thing people want is like, what is he going to talk about? You know, yeah. I wasn't, you know, I'm nerdy, so I'm not going to be all gangster like you know. But you do have those dark sides where uh, aggression gets disguised as depression or whatever. And, mm-hmm. you know, things like that happen. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, I mean, I don't know if this is appropriate to say, but you got me hyped over this depression, <laughs> over this, over, well, not necessarily depression, but like this vulnerable, like vulnerable yeah. kind of confession uh, piece. So, right, right. Um, I know you don't have a date yet, but um, you know, thanks for name dropping. Name on, uh, like, <laughs> thanks for dropping that on on us. We want to. I'm definitely interested. D and G exclusive. D and G exclusive. <laughs> when do you think? Um, give us. I mean, you know, I'm sure you're gonna kick yourself saying this now, but like, what's like a what's like a date you you would say, or like a general idea of when you think you would have it out. If I want it done correctly, and if I had the the time and everything, I, I would definitely say by the end of the year. Okay. And I would say <clears throat> the end of the year because it's it's big, but it can also be consolidated to where um, it could be, have multiple parts. Like I said, there's cogs. So yeah. each cog is a different one. Um, Confessions of a Gentleman is one. Child of God is another one. And... I'm working on the third cog, as far as names go. Yeah. But when I first started this, I I love poems and stuff. Um, Each letter of the phrase Confessions of a Gentleman is a different poem or a different thing that, I guess, a track, if you were to put it in album terms. Yeah. So that's kind of why it's taking forever. But it's also like, I'm still growing. Yeah. I was like, oh, and I add this. Like, this is happening to me right now. And, I mean, pre-COVID, there's... I'm a different person in a way. There's a lot of things that happened and it all comes together and makes the gentleman you see today. Yeah. 